Hi, it's Jane here again, just um, wanting to give you another informational video on some Xero training. I've had a client ask me about how to change how um, the company name appears in an email template when emailing out invoices. Uh, so I'm just going to run through how to change uh, the email template so it displays a little bit differently. All right, so this is where you would send out the invoice. So you would be in the sales invoice and then we would have hit the email button to email out and then you get this send invoice screen. So what my client here has queried is um, she wants to change where it says demo company AU here. So that would be her full legal trading name that would normally go in there. Uh, so she just wants that to be shortened to her business name. So, yeah, we don't actually, you can obviously change it each time when you send out the invoice manually, uh, but nobody wants to do that. It's too time consuming. So let's get out of this and go into the settings. So you click on your company name at the top left, settings, and it's in this email settings uh, button here. So we can look at the templates. And there's many default ones set up here. So you can just edit the default sales invoice. Um, obviously, you can create new email templates in here. Um, I suggest if you want to create a new one, you can use it for overdue uh, reminders if someone is late paying their bill uh, you could create multiple ones uh, different levels um, as to how late it's overdue uh, yeah so we'll go into that default sales invoice so you can see here the items that are in the brackets that's just the information like computer language information that it pulls from the zero account so we can't actually replace the, those brackets with like display name or something different. So we're better off just popping in there uh, the actual business name. So before it was demo company AU. So if you want it shorter, you might just type in demo. And then down the bottom here, we wanted that changed, which would be demo as well. So really you know we don't need to keep it as the trading name in brackets because it's obviously always going to be your business name that it's from so yeah so i'll save that and you can we'll be able to see how that reflects by going back into that sales invoice on email and you can see now that that has changed and we don't need to change that every single time we send out an invoice. It's that easy.